Fox News journalist Judith Miller should go to jail. Now there's precedents in this matter in which several judges have held journalists uh, in contempt of court and sent them to jail until they reveal their source. Now this has nothing to do with the First Amendment freedom of the speech or freedom of the press or none of that. I mean she could write anything she wants. It, that's not the content of her article biting though it might be it's not the issue here. The issue is that she is failing to reveal sources of, of her story. Now I'm not going to get into the, 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 the diary and all that kind of stuff. But suppose now, as a journalist, one meets with some terrorists and they have a juicy story, names and so forth, uh, and targets they're going to attack, etc. And I mean, if the government wants to find out, like, who are these terrorists you met with, where you met with them, give us some information on them. I mean, if they don't want to reveal it, they should go to jail. But if they write a juicy story that, say, um, Congress is this, or the president is that, and it's truthful. I mean, following the old guidelines, it's truthful, it's accurate, it's not uh, maliciousness and so forth. I mean, it should be covered. Um, journalists are looking for a story that could catapult them into some uh, prize or, or getting it with the network a viral uh, video or something like that. And um, if that is the case, and they're going to push the envelope and try all kinds of tricks and so forth, I mean, you know, um, they, they should pay the consequences. And um, basically, I think the judge wants to know about the diary, where she got it, whatever, etc. Uh, she should be able to reveal who gave it to her, especially if it might be stolen or something about it that could help the government in a way that we don't understand. And um, journalists shouldn't feel that they could talk with people and give them the assurance that they will not reveal their identity. I mean, suppose now somebody um, attempted or was planning to assassinate somebody. And they met with a person and, and did a story and the story is, is, is newsworthy and, and it's gone viral. But I mean, does this person, has this person changed the mind? So if the government wants to find out who is this person and get some information and, and go and check it down. I mean, they have a right to, to reveal the, 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 the source and go after uh, a legitimate um, illegal activity or a threat or something like that. So I, I think she should go to jail and all journalists should know that they're not above the law and the First Amendment does not cover. Nobody could go in a cinema and shout fire. I mean, they have a right to freedom of speech. Nobody can um, stand up and block the intersection and block people's businesses and say we have freedom of assembly, you know. Or you can't go and write something with the president that isn't true that could cause, um, you know, potential repercussions, etc. You just can't do that. And, um, you know, revealing secret sources, let them know that, hey, we're doing a story, you call me about it, but if I'm asked to reveal sources, and then or not all cases don't want sources. I'll have to reveal it, just make it clear, uh, and avoid jail. I don't see why she should want to go to jail for some secret stuff that uh, she don't want to uh, you know, tell us about.